conversation with my guests in here um, with different opinions and views quite interesting as well the last conversation was about traditional men where you do pretty much told us that a traditional man has no space does not create space for, for an office husband and so in this final part of the conversation i'm going to be hearing the views on whether or not office husband should be or not be you know should we continue to encourage this phenomenon called office husband or is it totally harmless and nothing to be worried about and i think i'd like to start with young me on that one okay um so i think that um the having an office husband is not um more dangerous than having an office best friend i think um, it's important for there to be clarity in communication and there should be clear boundaries. Right. But I do think that in terms of having a friend, having a confidant, having um, a companion, a therapist, someone who can support you in your workplace, whether male or female, is extremely important. If it happens to be male, one has to be that much more careful to make sure that you don't cross lines or create blurry spaces so i mean that's what i would say thank you very uh i, I think i agree with you i'd like to hear who do i go to now Jean, what's, what's your well um as long as i i, I agree with you really because as long as you made it clear that you know this is where this is stops or starts whether you say it vocally or like you express it whether you don't as long as it does not go beyond you know friendly chats and all of that let it i i don't agree with the therapy part of things <laughs> what a nice I, yes, story, yes right? i don't <laughs> agree with that i don't i don't want us to encourage <laughs> that in any way yeah, but if you're just yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah a bit yeah but if, if you're just talking about your kids and the weather is bright and all of that cool but yeah. you don't go to don't go to anyone whether you're male or female to talk about your husband annoying you this morning i don't i don't think that's right yeah. so i would agree with that yeah. as well however if you feel that it's the only thing that you have or you have intentions of crossing over by all means explore, explore. <laughs> <laughs> before before i go to gd i think that um when, when they talk about therapy and you say they're sensitive about it i think it comes from a place of vulnerability right so when you start to be vulnerable with somebody outside of your marriage it's um a red flag it's your intentions may be pure but just if you understand the concept of being vulnerable with somebody and what that can mean and what that can even start to um, transition into, then you want to just say, you know what, I'd rather do it. So I think that when you just say you're having you know, um, intimate, heartfelt conversations with somebody, it's, it's a red flag. It's, it's a danger zone. I, I agree that it's a dangerous position to be in, but she's not getting that support. If More she was reason. getting that support, Yes, but the thing is, we're human beings that have needs. I agree. And if you don't get it, so get a therapist, you get a proper therapist, a professional. A professional She's getting therapist. it for free. I'm an angel girl, so if <laughs> someone is gonna listen well, to my problems that, for free, that, that's and therapy. it may not be my work colleague, it could be my hairdresser. There are people who, you know, go to the hairdressers and the hairdressers know everything. Yeah. It could be well, still your, it could be because a gym instructor. So they don't have to handle it. Yes, but a lot of I'm times, not using it especially you. when you're talking about women, because women aren't always looking for someone it just to uh, give advice. them advice. Mm -hmm. They just need a listening ear. Which is why you do therapy. And, <laughs> yes, but like I said, <laughs> well, you know, my traditional, no, so, I agree. No, 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 I don't look. Okay, you're so right. you know, as a traditional right. woman, if my husband, who doesn't <laughs> want to listen to my whining, will pay. For a therapist, then we don't have any. We don't issues. need office husband. <laughs> There's no need for the office so, husband. To, to, to kind of, in addition to what you're saying, mm -hmm. right? I I'm not, I wouldn't say no need for if you can pay for ther like most workplaces like workplace I have, offer you have we offer that to be not very many just a yeah couple. so just very yeah. few places so when I'm when I want to be when I was getting stressed about being a new mom and mm -hmm. all that I do exactly. although traditionally so Aisha's like therapy, office uh, 
So you, you see, Aisha yeah. is having to rely on office husband to do that because her office. So maybe the organizations have a role to play as well. They need to create so that they don't they don't break homes. People if you, can not have an office husband; they have an office <laughs> therapist. Yeah, exactly. Okay. I agree yeah, exactly. But what what if if I were to if I if Aisha was standing in me right now mm-hmm. and I would say to you, ah, okay, yes, marriages yes are difficult. Mm-hmm. And, there are times you may not be able to talk to your husband about so many things. Wait, before you advise Aisha, I want to hear what um, Jide said. Look, I was even going to get to where Jide's where point in terms of the traditional man and Oh no, who are you? This is not traditional man. I want to get there. I want to get there. So I know what I'm getting get into. So now, you ha- you're walking, you're, you're flying here and there. You're, in this, your 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 quest okay, for being a traditional man, you, know, you, are, you have to make ends meet. You say you don't believe in faith, so you have to plan. All right, so let me give you a typical case scenario. You planned, you had your first child, you planned, you had the second child, you planned, you had for duplets, and then now you you're doubling away. the planning because now you now have like a whole staff of people and all that kind of thing. Now you still want to be that traditional husband, and you know, don't get me wrong, I, my husband, I'm sure he's a traditional man, he yeah. wants to be with all his power, but I have to be sensible. Mm-hmm. And say, look, I said I want this guy to die young. Know, so I, 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 I assist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but you can do that with an. No, so uh-huh. it's easy for me to say I want to. I've attempted to run a business several so, no, times. Oh, Shama, that's a different conversation yeah. because it depends on the person's skills. So, for all you know, maybe he, the person he's getting married to. No, I, was, I Okay, yeah. okay. I want to yeah. get somewhere. Okay. I wanted, I, do you think I, I, I don't. I want to be able to work. make money without going to go and listen to I don't give you a I hear you. Yeah, well, I'm sure that they themselves <laughs> don't want to <laughs> But you know what? Apart from obviously making the money, going right. to work, I actually enjoy my work. Let me just put that there. You do? Yeah, I enjoy my work. Mm-hmm. If I wasn't paid, mm-hmm. right, I would still want to work. Right. So being a traditional man, for instance, you want to love your wife. You won't have to do things she wants. So you are fortunate to have one that can do what she wants to do without going to mm-hmm. nine to five. Now I want to be in a nine to five sort of environment, whether I'm being paid for it or not. Oh, let me get there. Mm-hmm. Now, if in that um, being a traditional man, I want to keep up for my wife and my children and mm-hmm. everything, and I'm sitting at home and my business is not moving as i want it to move and i'm I'm not seeing the kind of people i want to interact with i want to to, do presentations and talk Mm -hmm. and all that kind of thing and i'm coming home and all i have to and i get to a point where my mental health is becoming funny so you know and i'm coming to meet you and i know that when we got married when we were getting married it was that we'll be at home and I won't follow them at all. Yeah, mm-hmm. no problem. I can still get a robot. But now the situation has changed. But the situation has changed where I really, really crave to also just want to do something else apart from sitting in the shop and waiting for Yeah, but so he's not stopping you. But that's it. So no, I want you to hear painting, his own. No, you are painting no. two different scenarios. Mm-hmm. I'm not painting. I'm, pre- I'm just asking the question I have for what's you. The what's the question? I'm not taking your, your role. What's the question? What's the question? <laughs> no, if it gets to a point where the wife comes to meet you and say, okay, five years down the line, you have to get out of the house mm-hmm. and go to school. Mm-hmm. She's bored. This relationship. Mm-hmm. Would you let her then go back? To I don't think so. No, let, let me answer the question. Sorry, sorry. So mm-hmm. is it that the point is? Is it it's an agreement between the two parties, even if one of them said like mm. we okay. agree from the one. Yeah. Right? You see, when you say um actualization of time, um I'm from very good as an engineer who just show me I do things, I see my yeah. mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. let me be as practical as possible. Okay, let me say my friend. It's as bad as we know what are going to give them. Mm-hmm. So even if I give two if I want to be you and support the child, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. less stress on Mm-hmm. Irrespective of the answer, yeah, to cover for the Yeah. Okay. So, but when she comes back and says she wants to go to work or she wants to do something, it's dependent on the child. It's not like now she now asking for work. Absolutely. It's I want to do something. Okay, what do you want to do? Mm-hmm. Okay, I want to work. Okay, okay, let me make some calls. Yeah. 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 Okay, so you are still okay. Oh, okay, that no, makes more sense. sense. No, no. You see, no. people need to understand what mm-hmm. that. Yes. You see, we have to understand that. It, no. So that's where your partner understanding. Good. I, 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 I appreciate, I appreciate the feedback. I appreciate your yeah. answer. So it makes more sense. That like, yes, traditional man doesn't mean that you're yeah, 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 some people cage no. their wives. Yes, no, exactly. No, no, I would no, say no, that to no, make that clear. The, that the problem no, no, will happen, no, no, no. happen in a different tradition. Yeah. And I love the fact that some traditions are not connected like that. 
Yeah. No, but it's true. No, but it's true. It's it's true. true. I, I they feel like they own, like a pop, like, like uh, they're good. Okay. Yeah, so yeah. you know the how first question I think? asked that how much do you think it will cost to pay for your no. wife? So I think it was that bribe price. That how much do you think a woman is? No, so it's not even. I don't. Even, I, I didn't even calculate issues. I think it is um, from interest. So again, if you're looking at availability, it's not about working nine to five or not because you can actually be doing a business that doesn't also give you time. It's about yeah. what are you yeah. doing that still gives you the opportunity to have time for the family. Mm-hmm. You could be a, if you're working, you could be a teacher and you, Jonathan, you, you finish at four o'clock. And then, if you understand that your husband is traditional, then you're also then mindful of the kinds of jobs that you'll be doing. You're mindful of the kind of business you'll be doing because there are businesses that will take you, that you're self-employed that will make, that will see you not at home like exactly. for a significant proportion of time. So I think it's just understanding that this is how my husband is, and what are the things if we're going to meet in the middle, what are the things that I can do that makes me happy still and still um, aligns with our interests. That, yeah. that's communication is what is key. Yeah, yeah that's communication. Not, yeah. See, we're not going into relationships yeah. Yeah. Years, but the fact is understand and get to know your partner very important. That's the way to get to know your relationship. Yeah. You ask them to ask them to change exactly and we get distracted but the yeah. fact is we have to come to the this if you need to be a dance you can't be a dance this is you can't tell me that people reach home that night and be smiling it's not possible nah. nobody wants to go go yep. but the fact especially is, guys that woman, I'm like, okay, the fact is that the from proper grass from money they went to grass and the woman was still there. Like, okay, let me give you an example. My chairman, the money he had for his business was from his wife. His wife sold all of the family and everything. But now, see, I have to share this thing. He's making money to enjoy it. Is it, is it no. publicly available? It's available. <laughs> yes, my, my chairman will be happy that I'm, I'm saying. Yeah, see? <laughs> you know, so, but the point is, it's, yeah. these are things that I look at these people. I right. don't read books, I read the ads, I see the woman. People. This mm. is how this person did his own. Yeah. Yes, I'm not the same with him. He had more opportunities. He moved with his family. So you're learning from yeah. Me, yeah. I'm coming. I went to community to go to school. <laughs> you understand? If I was lucky to talk to you, yeah. so you don't need to understand where we're coming from. So um by the way, do a private or something like that. But we shouldn't call it husband. We shouldn't name it. Yeah. Because um you only know because about emotion, you know about true. yourself, you know about yourself. Mm-hmm. And I believe that um, what we tend to get wrong in relationship is the fact that we think that answer to a woman is 100% possible. Mm-hmm. You have to understand that. Effective. Yeah, you have to understand that there's some people, just everybody has it. See, yeah. that's always like, if you don't give her a reason to doubt you, she wouldn't yeah. doubt you, right? So if there's always going to be someone you talk to about work, because, okay, to make up, am I going to give you what you talk about? <laughs> She will have somebody that she speaks to. Talk to her about. <laughs> That's her. Yeah. yeah. She's talking about clothes. She has someone. She's not letting you just be a man. Because, no, just see your best So you can't. So you're not even saying. I was going to say. Thank you. you. Not even saying, saying exactly. Not even saying, no, it's terrible. Right. You're right. Not even you're so that, is, that's such and a valid that's point. point. See, you have to understand that there was a life before you guys met. Mm-hmm. So she's not going to ditch that life because she's who are you? Just the guy that she has the most useful. Understand. So the best bet is let her give her that trust. What you know, what you don't know won't hurt you, right? Yeah. So don't want that. Don't just have a notion that yes. Even if they are telling you I saw her like there, I know. Yeah, that, 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 that right. that. So, it, it will be good for so many guys who want to be like it's just that they start off wanting to be like, not, yeah. and then they still end up easy. being what they don't want to be. Because you know women, thank God you're women. You know how women can be. How can this ah, <laughs> well, <laughs> like, oh, no, no, oh my god! <laughs> Another topic. So, in a nutshell, yeah, calling it let her have freedom, you have the freedom of work, talk to both you, and show, as you've said, work is work. Yes, I've not asked us how a traditional woman and what a traditional no, remember the season is what the traditional husband yeah. want from their wife. So we're, we're staying on topic. Okay, so <laughs> when it's time to talk about what traditional husband wants, I want to be on that topic. Not a problem. Let me so, hear so you. So something that I think I was concerned about, yeah. um, or we want to make a point about, is that for me, 
you know, there's a lot to be thrown around will he allow you to, uh, will he give you, will allow. he do, will he, mm. and um, for me in terms of, well maybe I'm just a romantic, I am as well, for I do feel when, especially because I have children, you've got male, you've got female, mm-hmm. and you don't look at them as if one life is more important than the other. Absolutely. I do think that in terms of emotions, in terms of respect and regard, there should be a balance. Okay. I don't think that everyone's roles are the same. Mm-hmm. I don't think that everyone's responsibilities are oh, the same. same. Mm-hmm. But if you're going to allow me to work, I'm going to allow you to work. Because you may think that you're the man and you can go out and you can do yeah. what you like. Mm-hmm. But I don't have to say, no, you can't do this. Mm-hmm. I can just frustrate the life out of you. As a woman, that's what you are. are. <laughs> so, so, so I think that for me, yeah. it's very important that when you love someone, mm-hmm. you have a level of regard. Absolutely. Honor. So, very because I respect my husband, I mm-hmm. have a regard for my husband, mm-hmm. I am very careful in terms of my interaction with both females and with Absolutely. Males. But I also have a husband mm-hmm. who I sleep at night knowing if something comes up, this person will stand in front of me. Aww. And that's the reason why you would. I am eager to do. I am eager to please. I am, because that's so so it for me in terms of what the traditional man wants, yeah. my understanding of the traditional man, the traditional man who that I saw an example of in my life was someone who um was always in front of his wife. Mm. Not because of his position as a man but because of his care and his love for her. He was not standing in front of her because he was a boss. He was standing in front of her because he was a cop. You know, and so I, I always, I'm like, yeah, we want traditional roles. We want, oh, does he do this? Does he allow her? Ah, you let your wife. But the men before, the, the, the traditional men, they weren't letting their la- wives because they were subservient. A lot of times they did things to like protect them. Yeah. That was the reason why they didn't want them in these situations, yeah. in, in these scenarios. Mm-hmm. But I'm always concerned where you now have people who want the rights of the traditional man, but don't care for the, don't responsibility. care for the responsibilities that That, to for me, is, like, is a concern. Yeah, Spot on. Like, Spot on, you yeah. whatever you want to do, but I want to punish them. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you'll get to punish them and tell me, but be, be careful not to get poisoned. Yeah. If he's doing it, yeah. yeah it just goes yeah, without saying. I, I, I respect your, you know, I, I respect the lady, your, the lady your, the lady yeah. exactly, Absolutely. I respect what you've just said about, and I wish a lot of young men to see that that way. You understand? My husband, personally, I hundred percent respect. If I have to argue with him, I always say to myself, my voice will not be heard in my house. Do you understand? He will yeah. not be raised. Yeah. Like, I know how to go and meet him and like. <laughs> So individualistic. Women are like I don't think so. I don't think women. It's how you. Yeah. Absolutely. They must have the last word. Yeah. Well. We also have women who must have the last word. I think we forget that we may be men and women, but we're actually all human beings. And everybody has their personality, personality traits. Yeah, yeah. So you will have, Learn there are your some women who want to be dominated. Absolutely. Okay, they yeah. want someone to hold <laughs> them down. Yes. Anyway, and there are some La- ladies, I think we're... So, <laughs> as long as the love, okay, communication and love is good. You love you know, me, you're so communicating so good. It's not going to be perfect. We are, Guys, we're on the same thank, page. thank you Perfect. so much. I would love to continue this conversation, but we're running out of time. But it's been absolutely insightful. Um, I've learned a lot, um, and I think that in terms of my musings, I would say that I can see some alignment at cross board. But ultimately, I think what it is with the concept of office husband is when you give something a name, for me, it's like it gives it life. And that's where the challenge is. It's not so much of cultivating relationships because we are humans. God created us to be relational. We're not, we, we can't live in isolation. So we do need people and we need trust, um, trustworthy um, 
relationships and interactions across all spheres of life. So when you meet people in the office, I think for me the charge would be time. And for still, as Yomi said, you know, for the person that you're married to, give them that honor. And so there's certain boundaries that you will draw. And even if you know that you have pure intentions, what does it look like to an outsider? You want to be mindful of that because you care about the person that you're with and that you're married to. And so on that note, I've had an exciting and insightful conversation with you all. Thank you so much for coming on the show. And we have come to the end of this three-part series on office husbands. And I hope you've taken something out of this. Um, as I will continue to share my musings to encourage, entertain, and even just empower people and empower humanity as we journey through life. Thank you and see you on the next episode.